Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I'm here today with the ideas for the closures for all of these junk cereal box, junk journals, um, the covers. And I just, I, you know, so many different ideas for closures and we all kind of have our favorite ones. And you know, I'm kind of partial to the button with the elastic and the dangles. You've seen me do that so many times. Um, that's just my favorite way now. I th I think it, it just is a really effective closure. But there's, there's simpler ones than that. You know, we all know about the tie, right? The sari silk, just tie it in a bow. And you can tie it like that. Or you can, you know, tie it. You can just make it like this and then you know, bring it around and tie it like that. You know, maybe put a couple dangles on it. That would just kind of hold it loosely. Um, easy to get in and out of. So there's the tie. Um, this, by the way, some of you have seen this before. This is another box, you know, cover. And um, I just put, this has got a little bit of a spine, but it is rounded. Um, this is my, my personal journal right now. Anyway, and it has just some acrylic paint and just kind of like what I did the other day. Anyway, uh, so there's that. And, um, you know, you can do the same thing with the, just ribbons, you know, something like this. Uh, put a little charm on the end and, and just make a knot in the end of this ribbon. Um, just tie an overhand knot and that creates this opening. And it can go on both ways. I have it coming off of the top of this one. And as I, you know, would sell a journal... I would just encourage people who who own it to leave leave the cover, you know, the closure off some of these kinds of ties and so on. They just get in my way. Um, and you can just explain that this is for when the journal is, is full and finished. It just kind of keeps everything that you've stuffed inside. Um, and so I would take something like this closure and just put it away in a drawer until I was finished with the journal and then I would wrap it around and tie it up. So you can do something like that. That's just ribbon, you know, off of a spool. Um, so there's that one. You can do the same thing, you know, with, like I say, just any kind of ribbon. This is been tied as well just in an overhand knot with this and then you know that can just come through there's a little weight a little charm on this one you know that, that kind of you would lengthen it or shorten it depending on how thick you know the journal is um or like i say it can go around no it's not long enough to go around that way but yeah just different ways that you can tie ribbons well i'll have to untangle that and different ribbons you know you can use this kind of ribbon ribbon or you can make a fabric ribbon and just you know tie tie a fabric ribbon in a bow that's easy enough and we've all seen that done lots of times, right? Yep. And um, that's not even at all. But yeah, just a, just that's simple, right? Um, let's see what else have I got here. Okay, we're gonna make some closures, but let me show you. Um, here is just elastic ribbon, you know, like the, you, you do with baby's headbands. So you can get it in this kind of thin kind of elastic. 
and I just tie it in a knot and then it can go this way it can go this way you know depending on the design of your cover um, yeah either way but that's another really simple closure here's another elastic lace um, that I think is really pretty and again it can go to the side or it can go lengthwise as well but like I say closures kind of annoy me um, when I'm journaling I don't I don't like them and so I just tend to leave them off until I'm ready to use them until I'm ready for the journal you know to be finished anyway you, you can see how that how that works um, and you can do like I did with with this ribbon and put a little you know clamp on the end or gather that up and and put you know a couple of beads or some other you know dangle on the ends and make that pretty um, yeah either way okay so let's um let me show you what i'm going to do to close some of these oh and then this is just my my usual you know button with with elastic and sometimes i put two and i'll show you how to do that um and then i just use a hair tie and of course it this is too big right now and maybe even too big for this small of a journal i don't know i have some smaller hair ties on order from amazon but they didn't come in and so you can move if you want to shorten it you can move this eyelet over and then that will take up more of the the hair tie as you bring it around um, that's one way to shorten it but yeah that's my that's my go-to kind of for these short um short journals and if you don't want to sew the button on if you're worried about sewing the button on you can do it like this you can punch a hole and and put the the shank use the shank button and put that in and just make a wire that creates this kind of flat um i just made this from a paper clip you could even put a paper clip in there. Um, I just put this this twist of a wire on it, and then I would put a, cut, a cardboard cutout. I would glue that over that to make, you know, to make that more sturdy. Okay, so that's that's one way you can attach the button if you don't want to sew it on. Um, okay, so let's let's just do a couple. Closures. So one of the things that we've all seen is just seam binding ribbon. And um, I really like having a crocodile. It, you know, makes the, the holes and sets the eyelets. And, and so let me show you how I do that. First of all, we need to measure the middle. And so... This is going to be seven and a half. So that's three and a half and three and a half is seven. And that would be three and a fourth or three and three fourths. So that hole is going to go about right there. So we'll bring that in. And we want this fairly close to the edge, but not, you know, not too close that the eyelet will rip so put that there and we'll put one on the other side same kind of hole okay that, now the holes are done and now i just need the little eyelets so I get my eyelets in the notion, on the Notions wall at Hobby Lobby. Um, 
because I don't know, you can't hardly see it, but these eyelets have little um, scores in them, and that helps the the metal to split evenly. I'll show you when I get it done. So now I put that in the hole, and then I just take my tool and put that on there and squeeze. And that finishes the, the inside and it makes a nicer, you know, a nicer um, finish on the inside. You know, there's, there's different, different ways that you can move around for different sizes and there's directions that come with this tool. So... Okay, so that finishes, makes a nice finish on the inside. All right, now I'm going to take my ribbon and tie it in half. This is just seam binding, and I'm going to bring it up. Now, if you bring it from the inside out, then on the outside, then you'll have the split. If you put it from the outside in, then you, the split will be on the inside and and the outside will have, you know, that it will be smooth. So I kind of like to do it that way. So I come from the outside in. I am not going to, I would finish the inside, you know, before I attach the, the closure, usually. I'm not going to finish the inside of this one. So, and at, at this point, what I want to do is tie these ends together. Just in an overhand knot. And that makes it so that I can't, when I tie the ribbons then I have a little knot and I don't have so many <laughs> ends flying around you know I'll show you what I mean oh dear I just just didn't grab both of them there Okay, so now when I tie this, then it's not so bad when you tie it, it's to un untie it that is the problem. And you want to do a really loose bow on these ribbon ties because the seam binding, especially the vintage stuff is pretty, pretty sturdy, but the the stuff that you buy now, like from Zipper Stop or wherever, um, it can wear out. It's not as durable as the vintage stuff. So, but see, now that I have those knots, then I know which ones I, I want to pull. If I just pull on either of the knots, then that will pull out. But I think that looks pretty, kind of matches that rose there. So, yeah, so that one's done. You can also um, do elastic this way. So let me, um, I'm going to mark. Usually when I, when I put the eyelets in my closures, I come down two and a half inches from the end. So there's two and a half and two and a half. Okay. And then come in and do the holes again. I think I'm going to bring these a little further in because I want, yeah. So I'm going to bring that in about an inch. And 
need to try to find where my I can't see the measurement so I need to measure that again and mark it oh there it is all right Okay, now I need two more eyelets. Okay, and now, so usually when I put the elastic in, I put it so that this is on the back like this, but this time I'm going to put the elastic and tie, I'm just going to tie a square knot. on the inside and then that will that knot is just going to be there and I can you know do some fancy wrapping or or something um, to make the knot more attractive if I want but now you've got elastic that just comes around like that. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty simple as well. And now I'm going to show you. Um, oh, here it, here's another lace. Um, one of the, these lace closures that comes around. This doesn't match this rustic cover. <laughs> but you get the idea. So you have a dangle, and here I've just used a bulb pin to attach a, a charm, and then that fits through there, and then creates that, you know, kind of a three, number three there. It closes it like that. Yeah, so it's just another, another very um, romantic, closure base. Okay, so the other thing we can do, um, so I'm going to show you, this is what I'm going to do with, I can put a button on it, a regular button, or I'm going to use these jeans buttons, dungarees it's called, or, or jumper buttons, and, and this is what they are. Um, so you have this metal button and then um and then you have a nail that that they, it pinches that way so i'm going to measure where i want it i want and this has a shank so it's going to stick up um which it would be better on a you know on a thicker Okay, this I'm going to bring it in about three quarters of an inch so that it overlaps that, that line right there. So about three quarters of an inch in. And then I need seven and a half again. So that's, I need three and three fourths. So the middle is going to be about right there. And then three quarters of an inch in. Okay. All right. And now I am going to use my tiny hole punch. A little tiny one. And I'm going to punch. I'm going to punch a hole in this one this is the reinforce and I'm gonna come in and punch a hole 
right there where that is. Oh, right. Right on there. Okay, and then I'm going to take the nail part, put it through there. Now, this is just going to be a reinforce because this could, you know, rip with one layer, but I think with two layers, it'll be okay. And if I really wanted to be certain that it would be okay, I would use fabric under here because fabric would keep it from, it would keep it from ripping through. Okay, can you see that? I hope you can see that. It's sticking up through the hole. And now we just take the, the top part of the button and we just push it push it on. That's as simple as that. And there it is. It's, um, yep. It sticks up kind of far. So this would be perfect if you had like a large ribbon wrap around or something like that. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and put another, uh, another, eyelet with with a hair tie closure and that's how I'm going to close all of the all of the other um, cereal box journals that I have ready for the for the festival Okay. All right. So there's the inside, and let me get the hair tie. I like to, to get the hair ties that are that don't have the metal piece on it. Yeah, that's those are the ones I like. Okay, there's the the back and there's the front it just goes around there and it's just as slick as slick right okay so those those are my ideas for closures um, for these junk journals and ah, I've got so many um, but yeah that's um, those are my ideas and let me show you again what what those buttons are four dungaree buttons drits um, and you can get you can get other ones you know just just google jeans buttons and um, that's what will come up okay thanks for joining me and we will see you again